Hello, it's Matt again. And in the last video, I showed my Mac Mini boot up with the solid state hard drive installed, 128 gigabyte Samsung solid state hard drive with a two terabyte external Western digital uh, USB drive, 2.0 USB drive. And I showed you the boot up time on it, and it was about 45 seconds or so from off to loaded up with uh, iTunes, YouTube, and uh, Twitter loaded. Um, well, anyways, I've been ripping uh, my audio collection to the 2 terabyte external hard drive in Apple Lossless. And last night I accidentally hit the power switch on the, uh, on the, com on the computer cart, which I have this thing attached to, and everything turned off. When I turned it all back on, the external USB drive didn't want to boot back up again. And uh, so I'll try to figure out what the deal is with that later. But I also discovered something very interesting about the Mac Mini with the SSD installed when you don't have a two terabyte external USB drive attached to it. Now, I, I mentioned in my previous video that would be interesting to experiment to see how fast the machine would boot without an external hard drive attached to it. Well, uh, I never got around to that experiment, but due to my little incident last night, I got to exactly see how fast the Mac Mini will boot with the SSD and no external USB hard drive attached. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do the demonstration again. And I got my stopwatch there and I got the Mac Mini and we're going to go ahead and uh, boot this up. So there we go. And once again, it has uh, eight gigs of RAM, and it's a uh, you know 2010 Mac Mini, so it's fairly standard except for the solid-state hard drive. And there's the blue screen, and there will soon be the IAS. There it is, 27 seconds, and it's loading Twitter and YouTube and iTunes in 33 seconds. There you go. So as you can see, with the two terabyte external USB hard drive unattached, the, uh, the machine boots up significantly faster than it did last time. In fact, uh, I've seen the desktop actually appear within uh, 18 seconds without loading up all those apps. But just wanted to show you guys the difference when you unhook your USB hard drive from your SSD machine and what will, will, how it will affect your boot time. Thank you.